Welcome to my top 10 fictional rats video where I talk about my favorite fictional rats whether it be in cartoons, television shows, movies, or video games. So without further ado, let's get into it. We've got a number 10 on our list, Raton from Mega Man 4. These enemies are on Tobe Man stage and they jump around using them big old feet. Pretty cute rat enemy, and you'll see their variants in Mega Man Battle Network, the little raties that chase after you. Number 9, Giant Rat from Yu-Gi-Oh. This guy's a real team player, you know. Uh, he's holding someone's... Uh, he's, zoom, let me zoom in on the skull. Actually fairly threatening when you think about it. Well, he is giant after all. He is a big boy, and uh, even when he dies, you get one of your Earth friends into battle. So he's pretty cool. I remember my friends having this guy in their deck. Number 8, we have the Vacuum Rat from Bad Rats. And uh, this guy, uh, as you see, he has a vacuum. Tell you the truth, I never played Bad Rats, but I'm gonna have to assume maybe he sucks up a device of some sort to get you to what the, the goal in that. Maybe he sucks up like a shower ball or something. I don't know. Number se 7. 10, 9, 8, 7. Number 7 on the list is Radic Alolan Radicate, actually. is uh, just regular Radicate. was well, not up to snuff on the list, but seeing this form, it's a lot of personality. This one has, um, attitude, a moxie that the regular Radicate just doesn't seem to have. So, uh, good on him. Good on him for, uh, he looks, t he looks tough. He looks like he's ready to fight and beat you up. Or at least give you a good nibble. Number six on our list, Twitch from League of Legends. I actually think he's really cool. He's an upstart young rat, one of the newer rats, especially for a MOBA. But uh, what's cool about him is that in a, a game full of, I don't know, people with real weapons, he's just a big smelly rat who shoots you with a crossbow and uh, expunges the, the stink out of you. I don't know, he looks filthy. But, uh, keep doing what you're doing, partner. Number five is Radbert from the Dilbert comics. Uh, I believe he was a subject of scientific experiments, and I think we can all relate to him. Look at him smile. It doesn't mask the pain. Poor Radbert. I wonder if there's any Rule 34 of Radbert. Probably, this is a... and it is a twisted place. Number, what is this, four? Or Fink Rat, Rat Fink. You know, you see him on the, the cars and stuff. Thanks, Big Daddy, for bringing this character to life. Really personable. Looks, looks like the ant... Like the opposite of Mickey Mouse, which is, uh, honestly pretty cool. Really cool rat. He's even on the... That birthday party album, Junkyard. Very nice. He's uh, everywhere cool, let's put it that way. Number three, this is real, real rat hours. I don't know what his name is. I don't know if the guy's name was Remy, or this guy's name was Remy. But it's from Ratatouille. <sighs> and he's cooking a rat delicacy. I can't tell you what this is. But uh, here's a key, it's one of the main ingredients in the rat delicacy, whatever this is. High in iron, rats really don't get their much else out of their meals, and there's one on the plate. But uh, he was a pretty, pretty cool rat. Lots of people skills, remember he even created a little rat restaurant that the health inspectors couldn't find out, or whatever. Filthy animals. Although the pet rats, fancy rats, are very clean. Number two on our top rats list was the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle comic, Master Splinter. The original rat who knew the chop haya moves. A uh, really cool guy. 
I don't know. He looks like he looks like he's. This is a pretty cool post for him. I don't know what he is doing, but uh, the, I think it was 1987 was the comic, the cartoon TV for American children. So uh, have what you will. I know he did change colors in the, in the future cartoons, but I don't know. This one suits him well. Actually, no. I like more of a gray color for this guy. But top top one rat, best rat ever in my humble opinion is Radicus from Flying Rhino Junior High a Canadian kids television program from the I think the early 2000s and uh, basically what well, this guy what he does is he lives in the basement the boiler room of a school with an overweight student I can't remember why the overweight guy was there, if he didn't graduate or what, but I know he didn't exercise, and, uh, this guy was his sidekick. I don't know, he meant well. I don't know, he just really person the most personable rat. He's also a big one. He's a big old boy. I don't know, he looks funny. The chewed ear, the, the frayed tuft of hair, those janky teeth. And big old nose, you know, just even the, even the gin blossoms. He's been drinking too much, I don't know, ketchup water or whatever rats do. But, uh, yeah, that's my top, this is my best rat, Radicus. Good, good going, buddy. I love this show. And that, without further ado, thanks for watching my top 10 fictional rats.